There she goes. What's up, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of Diagnostics Done Right. We're here, 2014 Buick Enclave. Wait for a quick pad and rotor swap. Jacked up, jack stand, Get that tire out the way. So we got our jack, jack stand, safety first. Get you guys in here. Can I be able to tell? Yeah, it's super grooved. He wanted just a pad slap, and I said, "You're gonna be back in here." in no time so we pop the caliper caliper bracket off and then we gotta loosen this torque nut that holds the rotor in just for assembly should pop right off if not we'll give it a few love taps and we'll get to the other side let's see what we're working with 14 14 on the caliper. Let's see if we can crack it loose. These are supposed to be Loctited from the factory. Uh, I don't believe they were re-Loctited the last time they were changed. Uh, make sure these slide pins are greased up real good and change the pad hardware. my neighbor he says his brakes were squeaking and grinding and making all sorts of noise and he had got the pads but uh I told him he gonna, he's still gonna have the same problem with these rotors those fresh pads aren't gonna contact properly and it's just gonna uh, destroy the new pads even faster so we'll compress that boom Grab our little hanger. Oh, this guy would probably just sit right there. She ain't gonna go nowhere. grooved and heat worn. Uh, and then the inside of one is even worse. We went with the good old car quests, so see how they perform. Alright, we got that off. Now we'll work on getting this bracket off, which some healthy size fasteners right here and right there holding that bracket in so we'll work on getting these off these are probably torqued substantially more than the other ones 21 
No, definitely be checking the torch spec on those guys. Don't want them just good and tight. Them guys are in there. Get this bottom one. Crack loose. That's why they're good and snug. Break it off. We got the hardware. So we'll swap those out after we get this rotor off. Now these easily e either come right off or you end up snapping a couple torch bits I'm trying to get these off. Give it a few love taps. So, as usual, just had to put a little mustard on it. To break off that rest ridge that builds up on the brake shoes. Easy peasy. We have our brand new Car Quest Platinums. It does come with a rust inhibitor that we gotta clean off. I brought the brake clean, I didn't bring any shop towels. So I'll go grab those real quick. We'll get this prepped. Hopefully, sometimes these don't come with new hardware. You always want to change your hardware, always. If you get brake pads that don't come with hardware, take them back. Take them back. fit these tend to they're just flimsy it's all right let's still do the job there's a probably corroded in there that's why they're sticking so much that's all right. Generally, only one side has what they call the squealer. These have them on both pads. So I'm, yeah, I believe they're interchangeable.
had it, but I lost it. There we go. So we got a fresh caliper bracket prepared. Pop this guy back on after we get some Loctite. On our caliper bracket bolts, ice and snug. We got our Loctite bolts. Put that there. Got that ready. That guy ready. Pop this guy on. <laughs> the correct way. started get the bottom one started all right yes yeah, so we got both of them started snug these up torque them spec back in to compensate for the extra pad material on the new pads and now it's can you guys even see you can barely see you can barely see get you up here still getting used to this new camera setup so bear with me much appreciated so we got the piston in there now it's time Grease her up a little, get a little bit. We're gonna put some brake caliper grease on the face of the piston and on the ears of <clears throat> the caliper. Any metal to metal contact with the pads, we want to grease up. Let's put a little dab on that guy, a little dab on that guy. Put her on the face of the piston. Just to prevent any rust, corrosion, not corrosion, rust. Keep everything moving freely. Bam. Beautiful. So there we go. That is our driver's side, her passenger side of the 2014 Buick Enclave. Pad rotor flap. Be sure and pump up your brakes before, before you go for a drive. If not, you will be in for a scare. In the meantime, I'm going to hop over to the driver's side, knock that out real quick. And uh, yeah, easy peasy one, getting back into the swing of things. I appreciate y'all coming along with me. Uh, yeah, we just try and get it done right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.
little bonus footage. Came to this side. Tried to get our retaining bolt out. And I snapped one socket. So they don't always come out easy peasy. Now, we can spray WD-40 all day and ain't gonna do nothing. So we're gonna just hit it with a little heat. There she goes. Sometimes, I just need a little convincing. But, we always get it done right. We'll let that cool off. Work on getting that caliper, caliper bracket. And do the same thing we did the other side. Just free tip, if, uh, if you strip it out, it's warm. Yeah, it's a little warm. That's all right. If you strip it out, you just drill it out. Boom. No, it's not too big a deal. Um, but yeah, it's a little pain. But they don't always come right out. Just take your time. You get it. Yeah, this pad. That's not what you want to see. That is gone. That's the inner pad. Just generally wear down faster, but that was his problem. And the inner side of the rotor is just all grouped up. The outside's pretty bad. The inner, the inner was the problem. <sighs> so we got that off. We replaced this hardware like we did the other side. <laughs> so they have squealers on both sides of the pads but your squealer doesn't mean anything if it's completely broken off <laughs> uh, be safe out there folks get your brakes checked get this wheel back on One forty. 140 foot pounds So there we go, we'll get in, we'll pump the brakes up, take it for a shimmy, should be right as rain. <sighs> Thanks again for joining along with me, and we'll see you guys next time.